A guilty verdict for Dean Skelos, the former New York State Senate Majority Leader, along with his son Adam Skelos, following former Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver to become the second top Albany politician to go down in disgrace in two weeks. CBS 2's Tony Aiello live in Lower Manhattan with more on this. Tony. Maurice, really a stunning one-two punch for crusading U.S. Attorney Preet Bharara, who scores two knockouts. Sheldon Silver, as you mentioned, on November 30th. Now a jury needed just eight hours of deliberations to convict powerful Long Island Republican Dean Skelos and his son. We are obviously very disappointed with the verdict. The disgraced former senator stood shoulder to shoulder with his son Adam outside court. The men convicted of running what the prosecution called a straight up shakedown. Quote, Dean Skelos had a great deal of power and paying his son was the way to tap it. The 67-year-old Skelos, portrayed here in a picture from Governor Cuomo's office, was one of the three amigos who ruled over Albany, controlling all legislation, until last May, when the feds hit him with extortion and bribery charges, claiming Skelos pressured various companies to pay his son in exchange for legislative favors. There was a mysterious $20,000 commission paid to Adam Skelos and a $70,000 no-show job. The son, portrayed as an arrogant hothead, but the Defense claimed prosecution witnesses shaded their testimony in exchange for immunity and insisted the businesses helped Adam Skelos to win goodwill with his father with no quid pro quo. Quote, that's how the world works. Adam's ego and temper are not evidence of wrongdoing. In the end, the eight women and four men on the jury needed just eight hours to convict the duo on all charges. The state gave a great timeline for us. They, they did a very good job. The evidence at trial included wiretapped phone calls. In one, Dean Skelos slammed Governor Cuomo's leadership. You watch what I'm going to do in the next couple of years with him, especially starting this year. No more, you know, buddy buddy and all that stuff. He's full of He's full of what it says more broadly, getting out of the courtroom and looking back up the river toward Albany, uh, is just the pervasive corruption. U.S. Attorney Preet Bharara tweeted his reaction. We have that for you. He tweeted a question. How many prosecutions will it take before Albany gives the people of New York the honest government they deserve? Tonight, Governor Cuomo is promising to deliver on a fresh push to clean up Albany. Adam and Dean Skelos will be back at this courthouse on March 3rd for sentencing. Live in Lower Manhattan, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Tony, thank you.